welcome back to my kitchen. A bowl of homemade soup on a chilly day or when you're not feeling terribly good is a bit like giving somebody a hug. So I'm going to share my tomato soup recipe with you today. So to make your tomato soup, you need a potato, a carrot, an onion and a pepper. A homegrown tomato if you've got one or two that you need to use up. And then you'll need a tin of tomatoes and the Italian ones have got a really deep flavour so they are best for this. Um, a stock cube, a little bit of sugar and a very big saucepan. To get the lumps out it's really useful if you've got a stick blender but you could use a potato masher if you haven't got one but that is really useful. So in order to get your soup started you simply need to chop everything up. So we'll start with a potato and use a bridge so that your hands are quite safe cutting something as big as this. Cut it in half, cut side down so it doesn't go anywhere and then again a bridge to hold it still and just cut really chunks for all you're going to need. You can leave the skin on because it adds to the fibre content and you are going to finish up with pieces that look a bit like that. So they can go in the saucepan straight away and then you just do the other one. That's our potato. Now for our pepper, a red one helps with the colour but it could be orange or yellow, not green. And the best way to work out where to cut is to take the bottom of it off first and that shows you how near to the sides the seeds are. So then cut down and you can avoid the seeds completely and you'll get four great big pieces. Oh, a few bits of seed there, I went too close and then down this side, and then you've got your chunks, big pieces of pepper that you can just simply cut into chunks. And they all go in the pan too. Carrot, we're going to grate because it would take a lot longer to cook. There isn't a huge amount of free liquid for it to boil in. So take the end off, but then hold on to this piece. Don't cut that off because that's going to give you something to hang on to. So we're going to grate the carrot. that can all go into the saucepan and this is going to make enough for six people possibly seven servings so if that's more than you would normally need um, it freezes very well so don't be alarmed that you're making this vast quantity because you don't have to waste it you just put it in the freezer right so that's our carrot and now I'm going to do the tomato. I'm leaving the onion till last because I know they're really strong and they make me cry. So I'm doing that last of all. So your fresh tomato that you grew, perhaps this is a marmande. So it has very few seeds, but lots of flesh. We'll just cut that into chunks. If you haven't got any homegrown tomatoes, you can stick one in out of the fridge if you want to, but it's not critical. And then it's the onion. I'm dreading this. Right. Top off, bottom off, cut it in half, cut side down, and then take off the outside papery layers. And this one's got a nasty bit here, so I'm just going to cut that off as well. So I put those in there. This is my compost bowl. And then again, a bridge, cut between the bridge, holding it together and then hold all those pieces as you cut across them and really you don't need to do that many cuts to make it fine it's just a question of of it being in small chunks smallish chunks again papery layer off nasty bit just there we'll get rid of that and then following the, the green lines on the onion down in one direction to start with hold it together and go across the bottom three or four times and then that goes in as well and I'm not crying which is a bonus. Now we have to go and fry those gently for about five minutes so I'm going to go over to the cooker I'm going to put in a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to just gently get that to start cooking. 
So about a dessert spoon of olive oil in there and then a moderate heat. And what we're doing is, is often called sweating the vegetables and it just bring, starts to bring out the flavour of them as they just begin to get hot. They will stick, so you do have to stir this. Keep it moving. Break up the potato chunks if they're still stuck together. And you'll start to hear it sizzle. Here we go, we're sizzling. So another three or four minutes. And then we shall be away. You can tell when the flavours are starting to come out and, and you're getting to the right stage to add your liquids because the olive oil will start to turn orange from the carrots and the peppers. Right, that's had long enough. So the next thing to do is add my liquids. And the first thing to put in is your tin of chopped tomatoes. For goodness sake, don't put your finger on the side of the, the lid. Now I'm going to fill that with cold water twice and what that will do is rinse out the tin to get as much as we can and give me 800 mils of water and that's the minimum. If it gets too thick I can always add more but two cans is the equivalent of 800 mils or two pints really. And that's my second 400 mils of water. And to this I'm now going to add one chicken stock cube or a vegetable one if you like. Just break it in half, drop that in. And the other thing that you might think is a bit strange is half a teaspoon of sugar. And often when you're working with tomatoes, you add a little bit of sugar. They can be quite acidic and that just helps to calm down the acidity of the tomatoes. So give that a stir, bring it to the boil. And once it's boiled, you're going to need to put a lid on it and it will then take anything between 25 and 35 minutes for your chunks of potato to be cooked. They're the thing that will take the longest. So we'll get that boiling and we'll put the lid on and then we'll go away and leave it to simmer for about half an hour. Now, this has taken a few minutes to come to the boil, um, but you can see it's bubbling quite nicely around the outside. So we'll turn it down to simmer that just means you get the occasional bubble coming up through it. And we'll put a lid on. You can stir it once or twice during the next half an hour. And if you see the skins of the fresh tomatoes starting to peel off, take those off when you see them because we want to get rid of those. So lid on, <coughs> timer, half an hour. Oh my goodness, now it's had 30 minutes and I need to test if it's cooked. And the way to do that, is to find a piece of potato and prod it with a knife and see whether it's nice and soft and yes it is. So that's ready and done. In the meantime what I've also done is to find the skins of the fresh tomato and I've taken those out because although we're going to zap this with a stick blender it's, it's not very pleasant if you get the tomato skin. So over to the worktop and we'll blend it. So I've put this onto a non-slip mat and I'm going to blend it with a stick blender. I haven't turned it on yet so that I can show you. It comes in part in two parts and this motor also drives a small goblet that I can use to make breadcrumbs. So it's plastic, it doesn't scratch my pans, it's quite old but it's brilliant and I think it really is my favourite gadget. So on and put it in the pan and then I've got two speeds, I'm going to just go with the bottom one, which is the fastest. And I tend to do it in bursts, because if you do it for very long, sometimes you find that it will splash up at you. And hold it at an angle in the pan. If you're absolutely upright, it just doesn't do it. You need to get the lumps to go into the blade. somebody will get a lump. There will be a piece of potato at the bottom that I've missed. It usually happens, but don't worry about that. So take it out and turn it off straight away. There's no temptation to, to switch it on and forget that it's plugged in and everything. At this stage, you need to season it. So I'm going to put in some salt, 
because I know it's going to need it. And some pepper. Give it a stir and then use a cold spoon because this is incredibly hot so be careful. Little taste. Oh it's lovely. So it tastes really lovely and I'm going to serve it with some of the cheese and chive soda bread that I happen to have in my freezer. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Have a go. Like, share, subscribe, send us a photo and um, have a go at tomato soup. Bye.